inspiration. How do you get it? What are some of the things you do to get yourself inspired when it comes to creating? Well, let's look at a few tips and some resources that can get you going when it comes to creating and finding inspiration. Hey, what's going on beautiful people? Ed Governor right here and you are definitely welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time on here and you like content related to filmmaking and photography, then I suggest you go ahead, hit that subscribe button with the left hook. When I'm talking about creatives, I'm not only talking about those who create content for YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. However, I'm talking about those who create content in general. So I'm talking designers, I'm talking photographers, I'm talking carpenters, I'm talking writers and a whole bunch. My aim with this video is to share with you some resources that could help you with the creative process no matter what department you find yourself in. Most people often think of inspiration as something that just hits you out of nowhere. Well, they're right and at the same time, they're wrong. I've been one of the people who've been thinking like this for a long time until I started seeing things differently. You see, most of the times you're only going to find inspiration when you go out looking for it. Which brings me to the first thing I want to share with you guys. One of the first things I want to share with you guys is just about giving 10 minutes of your time to whatever project that you want to work on. I know we all have those projects that we want to work on, but most often we never find the inspiration to start working on those projects. And we might often think, well, let me just, you know, wait until the time is right. But instead of sitting and waiting until the time is right, which might be never, you could actually try to, you know, get yourself inspired, if you know what I mean. So basically it's quite simple. Find that project that you want to work on, set your alarm, 10 minutes, and start working on that project. And after 10 minutes, when the alarm goes off, if you feel like you don't want to keep on going, then you could drop it. And maybe in that case, the inspiration actually has to come from the sky. But with my experience, most of the times you're going to want to continue. Why? Because you have found that inspiration. You search for it and you found it. And often that's the case. When you search, you find. So try this technique out. It's something that has worked for me. It helps me a lot to get stuff started, especially with these YouTube videos. You know, back in the past, you know, I would just sit back and say, well, I don't feel like creating a YouTube video now, you know, and that would just keep on going for weeks and weeks and i realized four weeks have gone by i haven't made a single youtube video but now i just give myself 10 minutes get started with the planning setting up and start recording and sometimes after 10 minutes i feel like i don't want to i don't want to do it so i don't force it right i just drop it but most of the times 80 percent of the time when i get started then i just feel like i want to keep going because i found the inspiration instead of letting the inspiration find me so another simple tip that you can incorporate into your creative habits is just making notes, right? Making notes of anything and everything. So whenever an idea pops into your head or you get this, you know, brilliant spark light bulb thing going on, find your note. It could be a piece of paper and a pen or it could just be your smartphone. We have, you know, apps in there that help us write stuff down. So just write down that idea in detail as you are thinking about it instead of waiting until you get up the bus or waiting till you get to the office or just wait until you wake up the next morning most of the times we get these great ideas just right before we go to bed and you know it's often tempting to just say well let me sleep on it and i'll write it down tomorrow but if you do that a lot of times you're not going to even remember that you had that idea when you wake up or even if you remember the idea is not going to come together in detail as you had it the night before so you're only going to get fractions of it and don't only put them down because putting them down doesn't actually get them done right but you need to revisit those ideas at the later point in time and just try to develop them that is what actually gets you ahead so write down your ideas and try to visit them at some little point so you can develop them and make things happen with those ideas all right so we've touched a little bit on creative habits that you know can get you going now let's touch on some of the resources that could you know, help you with the process of creating. I know there's a bunch of resources out there and truly you really cannot tap into each and every one of these resources, right? But if you are able to tap into a few, they might just be good enough to keep you going when it comes to creating. So here, I'm only gonna touch on a few. And if you're watching this video and you have any more recommendations as to what might help other creatives, then I'll suggest that you drop them in the comment sections down below so people can find it. And if you're looking for more resources, then just 
check the comments down below maybe one or two people are going to drop some stuff that you might find interesting all right so the first resource i wanted to touch on today is called miller note and this basically is a project management and extensive planning app that you could find on pc and mobile very easy to use and it has a bunch of templates that you could use for whatever it is you're doing a few weeks ago i was doing a photo shoot and i set up the mood board and planned the entire project on miller note and it was quite a breeze because i was able to share all those details with the model and it just made things much easier i'm talking from the mood board to the location and the props the posing and everything so it's quite streamlined you create these boards where you know you could put stuff in there you could comment on them go back and forth with whoever you share the board with which is also a very great thing because for collaborative projects this works just perfectly i'm gonna leave a link in the description down below if you want to try it out i think they have a free version and a paid version you can start up with a free version and see if it's something that works for you this has helped me quite a lot but i feel like if you're a creative person then it's always important to have stuff planned out and this app is what's gonna get you there and oh by the way this is not sponsored right i'm just sharing some great resources that i think might be useful for other creatives so no sponsor here all right, so the second resource I wanted to share with you guys is music. So if you're someone who makes videos for clients and or for YouTube, then I'm probably sure you are aware of how important music is. It's not so easy to get your hands on, especially good quality music that's gonna help your project. This topic right here is a really widely discussed topic, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I think the few ones that you are really common are Artlist, epidemic sound and music bed so what i would recommend for you to start out with would be artlist and the reason for that is quite simple for the price you pay you get a license that covers basically everything so it covers client work it covers your youtube videos and yeah you got a full license and like i said when you're starting up the price is often very important so if you want to try out Artlist, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. If you use that link, you're going to get two months for free to try it out and just see if it's something that actually works for you. I use it a lot for my YouTube videos and my client work as well. And everything is covered under this same license. One last tip I just wanted to throw out there is try to use whatever it is that you have. I know a lot of people say this, but you know, it's good to repeat it yeah it's good to repeat it because you know we got our smartphones and these phones are really powerful right when it comes to creating stuff i mean you got amazing cameras in there you got crazy crazy creative apps that just help you do a ton of stuff and even some of the built-in stuff that you have in the phones they're just going to help you create stuff without any problem so really when it comes to your phone the possibilities are just endless so I would advise you to actually try and make more use out of your phone when it comes to creating because the phones are not only meant for receiving and making calls or text messages or for social media like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and all the stuff. You could do a whole ton of different things with your phones and some of the photos that come out of these phones is just crazy amazing some of the things that you could do with these phones is crazy amazing it's a good way to start training yourself to use what you have because at the end of the day when you get the bigger gear then you're going to be able to sort of produce more value out of those well there we go i guess we've come to the end of this video and i just wanted to share with you guys some tips and resources that could help you with finding inspiration and creating content so if you like this video well go ahead give it a thumbs up and share it with someone else that you think might find it interesting and also if you're new on here i suggest you go ahead hit that subscribe button with a left hook that's gonna go a long way to help the channel grow more and more so that's it from me and until next time i will see you hopefully in the next one peace